I hate liberals. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, of course I don't. But if I did, if I did hate any of those people, I would want to make sure that myself and my farm animals, assuming I owned a farm in this hypothetical scenario, would be able to defend themselves. Today, we are going to look through three of some of the most common farm animals you might expect to find, and we are going to give them the proper utilities in order to defend themselves against the liberal woke movement. <laughs> Cows? Great. They're big, brawny, bulky. They could probably defend themselves, but against weaponry? I think not. I'm thinking we start off with something simple. A little cannon, alright? Just, just, just one right on the top that it can carry with its large body. That way, it's got some nice range, some impact, some oomph, in case they have a barricade of which this heifer needs to take down quickly and effectively. We've got high explosive rounds, we've got impact rounds, we've got high velocity. We can throw anything we really want on this big behemoth of an animal. And I'm thinking maybe as a little touch up, just to add a little flair to it, I'm thinking we add a couple anklets of fire. Now this adds a not only resistance to the burn effect, but also adds a path of fire that follows behind it as it continues to fire weaponry from afar. <laughs> this is very real and does exist not only in my fantasies. <laughs> and I think it's important that we accept that reality because the cow army is coming, it is very real, and you had better watch out. Now the pig, I think, is a little sneaky, a little crafty. Have you ever seen that movie with those scary, with the, those pigs, and then you have like the evil pigs, and then the good pigs, and they have this big war animal farm? Pigs are crazy, man. Pigs are crazy. You don't know what a pig is gonna do. So I think we go for something a little bit different, something a little bit more spec ops. And now as you can see, it's prepped for action. It's ready to go covert ops. It's ready to get in and get out. It's ready to end the life of any disgusting individual that tries to break into that thing's home, okay? Or if it needs to break into your home, be prepared. It's got two lasers, double AR-15s decked out to the max on both sides. It's got night vision goggles, collapsible in case it needs to carry on its inner pocket right back here. We don't need to talk about that technique. It's also got four, as you can see, military grade thick leather, velvety iron, sexy high heel boots <laughs> for style, not for any other purpose. They're very squeaky and very easy to notice, but they look cool. It can also call airstrikes anytime it desires. Let's move on, finally, to the last, but definitely not least. Codename S-H-E-E-P, the sheep. I'll let you know, the people fear it. It ain't easy being a gosh dang American hero. But the sheeps get to work. And like I mentioned before, the pig calling airstrikes, who do you think is going to do it? Some idiot human? You think gets behind the reins, gets behind the joystick? of a plane like that, of a vehicle like that, no shot, no way, not on your life. Codename L-A-M-B gets on that baby, fighting for its rights to live on its property and save its children from the, the, I don't know yet, <laughs> but that's because the war hasn't yet started, but it's coming. And they're prepared, these animals are ready for this battle to happen. They're prepared for the war that is coming. I don't know what to do, but it's coming. <laughs>